G'day guys, welcome back again. I'm just continuing with my little experiment for having less cells when I'm using Floetrol. So my last pour in the Ocean Colours um, had my own pouring medium, which was three parts Floetrol, one part PVA and half a part of pouring medium. So I did three cups, one cup, half a cup. And that's the Floetrol get that from Bunnings, it's a paint conditioner, that's the PVA glue from Bunnings, it's about $22 for 4 litres, and then I used the Global Pouring Medium, that's what I had, I bought it on sale, and for cells today I'm using the Coconut Milk Hair Serum, I got this from Woolies, but I think you can get them from hair places, hair warehouse, price line, things like that. Um, so I've got, for my pouring medium, I've got three parts pouring medium to one part paint and I've got my global, that one is deep sea, it's a greeny blue and that one is coastal turquoise and then deep space which is a navy, light blue which is marina and then I have a like a gunmetal silver metallic, it's called antique silver, and then I've got black and white. Okay, now I've just got the coconut oil in here, so I can put one drop in. I'm only going to do one drop in these four colours. I'm not going to put it in the metallic and I'm not going to put it in the black and white because it's just too much. One, 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 and one. One drop in each, so four drops in the whole pour. Give that a good mix. I really like these ocean colours. Not as bright as I normally do. It's kind of stormy and moody. So I like that. Now I need my three cups. In my last pour I had to stretch my paint quite a lot so in this one I'm going to add a bit more paint. I don't know whether I'll use all of this, it's quite a lot, it's about 800 grams all up. My last pour had about 500 grams, this one I'm thinking maybe 600-ish but we'll see what happens. I, I probably won't use all of it. And I just want to put two layers in for each. And I want to pour my colours in from up high this time round. Because I want the colours to mix nicely. Some sea green. Haven't used this colour very much. I'm not really a green person. I did make up a little bit extra of the navy because I really like the navy. A bit of black. I won't use all the black. Black's quite dominant. It tends to take over so I won't use all of the black. I did make up less of the black than I did of the other colours. finish all that off. I did really like the way that this pale blue made lovely cells so I'll use all of that and my metallic I use all of that a little bit more blue of the white. Use up all my white. And a touch more black. Won't use that all. And what do we need? A little bit more green. I'm having three full cups here by the looks of it. A little bit of green left in there. 
and I'll finish it off with the navy. Won't put any more aqua in. Actually, this cup's got a little bit less than the other, so there we go. A little bit left in there. So I probably used oh, maybe 700 grams of the 800 grams that I made. So plenty, plenty of paint. Got those lovely little cells sitting on top. Now this is going to be tricky. So I should have plenty of paint. As I've said before, I'd rather have more paint than not enough. The painting I did just before this one earlier today, I didn't have enough paint. I had to stretch too much. And the other thing I'm going to do differently with this one, if you saw my previous one, um, I poured the cups out, then I tilted, then I torched. So I've got lots of little cells pop up at the end when I torched. With this one, I'm going to tip them out, and then I'm going to torch, and then I'm going to tilt, because I want the bigger cells this time. And hopefully with my PVA glue, which is a binder, which makes nice round shaped cells, that and a combination of the flow troll, um, I should get bigger cells and not that massive tiny little white ones that I always get. All right, let's see how we go. That's a good amount of paint. Look at that. Beautiful. Good coverage. It's touching the bottom, it's touching the top. That's what I like to see. Nice, good coverage of paint. And if you've got any leftover in your cup, you can just pop it along the corners. Make sure that you keep your linear form. Don't go around in a little circle on the corner. Keep your up and down shape. I think that will be plenty. Just give it a minute for the cells to pop up. The heavier paints, the higher density will sink to the bottom. The lighter density will come up to the top with the silicone oil or Dimethicone, the coconut milk has got dimethicone as one of the ingredients. It's very strong. You only need one drop in your colours. As you can see, this is four drops in the whole thing. Four drops in about 700 grams of mixed paint. So I'm still getting the tiny little cells, as you can see. Um, it's not too bad though, not as much as I would get with straight flow troll. So I can live with that. Now I'm going to torch because I really like these bigger round cells. So I'm going to give it a quick torch just to get some more cells to pop up and then I can stretch them out and make bigger cells. All right, just once over with the torch and see what happens. Give that a minute to let the cells grow. So these have all popped up here. This is what I was saying about this light blue. See how they pop up? Lovely, I love those light blue cells. Now I'm going to torch over here under this white because we've got some white covering that darker colour. I'm going to see what's under there. Don't go too close to your paint, you'll burn it and then you'll end up with these oddly shaped cells. So there's some navy coming through the white there. Little caterpillar up here. So there's some, I guess you can call it hazing the white over the top of the other paints here. Let's we'll see if anything will come up there. You can see the little darker dots coming through. 
I won't do any more. I can always torch afterwards if I want to, but I think this will be plenty. I'm getting some nice background. See the blue, more blue, getting some darker here. So I've got the dark greeny blue there. This is what I'm looking for, some background. I don't want just a mass of cells that all grow into each other and stick together and then you get these oddly shaped weird sh um, cells. So this is good. So let's get to tilting. I'm just going to put a little bit of black here as I always do just to help my paint along. Don't need a lot on my corners because I've got a lot of paint on the card today. 15, uh, 30 centimetre by 40 centimetre, which is 12 by 16 inches, this card. Okay, still a lot of cells, but Let's see what happens when we stretch them out. Should have thinned my black out. See how it's getting stuck on the black? This is what I said in my last video. Make sure if you're using a, a filler paint, thin it out. I've got so much paint on here, it's not really that important. You can see how it's moving really well. Okay, so that one's covered already. Um, I'll just take a little bit of that off the side there, I think. I can't leave all this paint on, it's too much. Even though it's really pretty, let's go off this side. And I'll get rid of that corner as well. Bring the paint back to the middle and off to that side. See how you can move the paint around really well when you've got a lot of paint on there? Those cells are moving around nicely without breaking up. Just push that over the corner. Come on paint. Doesn't want to go. I'm <laughs> losing all my lovely cells. Off you go. Okay, back again. That's okay, they're stretching nicely. Bring it back to the centre. Try and straighten out my lines a little bit. Now I need to go for that corner there. Bringing the paint back to the center, the weight of it's here at the moment, and then I'm going to go down there. Bring it back. Don't really like that bit there. I'm just going to pop that over the edge. Okay, and back. Right. Now that's what I mean about nice big round cells which are separate from each other and still having background. So that is good. And that's what happens with A, lots of paint and B, the PVA, which is a binder which holds those cells together. That's what I think anyway, my opinion. What do I know? <laughs> uh, through all my experiments, that's what I have found that the PVA does hold the cells nicely. So I'm really happy with that. Um, if you remember my previous one, it had had a few big cells but then it had lots of little tiny ones that were kind of starting to join together. These are lovely, these dark ones here. Now I will give that a very light torch just for the air bubbles um, because I don't want any little pinholes once it dries. PVA is notorious for giving pinholes. 
uh, when it dries, so be careful of that. I'm really liking this. This is lovely here, this green. A little bit muddy over this side. But, um, and then we've got the lovely blue through here. It's really pretty, lots of different colours. And the cells are gorgeous, I'm happy with those cells. All right, a little bit of a torch. Just gave this extra bit over here a bit more of a torch where I've got that white, I think it might be silver hazing, the metallic silver over the other colours, so the little tiny cells are popping through. I don't mind that, little tiny cells there. Um, little cells with big cells, but it's still a lot better in my opinion than having plain flow troll only and just having that massive white cells that that I got. Um, you can see them in my purple pour, my four flip cup purple pour. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I might change my pouring medium to this. It was a nice creamy consistency. That's the black. Sits on top and then runs off. And where it meets, I know you can't see it in the dark cup there, but where that paint that runs off the stick meets the other paint, it has a tiny little build up um, before it all disappears into the cup. Okay, all right, I'll take you in for a close up of that one. Oh, look at that. I've just seen this. I'll turn it around. Two eyes and a nose looking at you. Looks like big owl eyes. I saw it when I walked around the other side. They were looking at me and it's got eyebrows too. The, thing, the things you see in paint. Alright, here we go for a close up. I'm really happy with this one. I'll have to do this one in a, a bigger pour, won't I? I've got so many ideas of pores that I want to do. Okay, what do you think of that? Actually, I love those navy blue cells that have popped up on the bottom left there. Or sort of in the middle on the left. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then there's those two owl eyes with the nose and the eyebrows that are looking at me in the middle, in the sea of green. And over to the right, uh, it's a little bit more, I guess, brownish looking, and that's the metallic silver coming through. Love it. Okay, so I think that'll be it for today. I think I've done three pours today, Sunday, my day off work. I'm not getting any work done around the house. I'm painting way too much. I want to experiment, experiment for all you guys, uh, which I really enjoy doing, and I hope it helps with all your pours. Um, I'd love to see all your work. Please join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. It's open to everyone from all over Australia, all over the world. Join us, put your, put your pours up, and uh, we'd love to see them. All right. I'm going to see if I can zoom in a tiny bit more to this. No, that's as far as I can go. All right, I will see you for the next pour. Bye for now.